Siraj Samra on his uh, ring walk. Next uh, contest at 51 kilograms. His opponent is Stephen Boyle from the uh, Deniston Club up in uh, Glasgow. Yeah, very talented boxer, Shiraz. He's very, he's very loose, he's very cool. His championship junior ABA tournaments don't start till next week, but last year, he, in the last year of the schoolboy tournament, he actually lost in the national final last season. Um, and he's, a, he's a really still a relative novice. I think he's only about 13 or 14 bouts, maybe a few more now, and he's, uh, he's, he's only been boxing a couple of seasons, and he's, I know he's packed quite a few bouts in at that time, but he's, uh, he's a bit of a class actor, as good good boxer. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Bout number 11, 51 kilograms. Contest, three two-minute rounds. Between and introducing in the red corner, representing Birkin Adventure and Merseyside and Cheshire, Suraj Samra. <laughs> introducing in the blue corner, representing Scotland, Stephen Boyle. Samra in the red, Boyle in the blue. So two 15-year-olds face-to-face, Siraj Samra, born in Birmingham, but boxes for the uh, Birkenhead Venture ABC up here in the northwest. Uh, Stephen Boyle, another southpaw from Scotland. So they're obviously uh, not Off looking that production at, line. <laughs> uh, they're not looking at right-handed boxes, are they? They've sent out quite a few southpaws t today. It's like the old Cuban national teams are all southpaws. Maybe Scotland are going to do the same thing over the next few years. Uh, very composed to Raz there, lovely counter on the, the end of that combination. Both quite cagey again in this uh, opening first round, just sizing each other up. Good left hand there from the Scots lad. He's falling short a bit, sure, hasn't he? Again, probably hasn't worked out his box in the south port until Chris gets back to the corner and Chris tells him. He's looking to get his, just needs to get his front foot on the outside of his opponent. Look to score through the middle with his backhand. Should have worked it out, he says here. He's a grammar school lad. Yeah, he's a clever kid, sir, has. He is, he's a bright, bright boy indeed. But uh, boxers don't always realise. <laughs> It's pretty cagey opener now, it's pretty tight, pretty... You know, few, both scored a couple of good shots each, but high-quality stuff, and they're not making it easy for their opponents to score on them. That's a sign of good kids, they make it hard for someone to score against them. That's where they'll go, that's where they'll go far. Yeah, Again, should has got on the outside there, lovely shot. He's just tucking up nice. I think it's should his round for me. Yeah, certainly uh, a round for the purists, that one. Nice to see the boys not holding, mauling, just getting through the boxing. Makes for a better spectacle of the sport. You mentioned that he's a, a grammar school lad. He's a pupil at uh, Colday Grange Grammar, is uh, Suraj Samra. Well, there we go. We're, we're wrong in the commentary box again. He's actually lost that round five to three, which I'm quite surprised about from where, you know, a lot of the Scottish opponent boxes look punches. Stephen Boyle were on the gloves and the arms, so... But the judge is a bit closer than us here, and they obviously could pick out them shots that scored. And I guess on the two out of five as opposed to the three out of five scoring system, you might get one or two more discrepancies than would otherwise be the case. Um, I'm not so sure. I mean, I think what the two out of five does is it leads to higher scoring. It leads to, and general public, people coming to watch boxing, 
uh, under the three, three out of five, sometimes you get bouts that finish 2-1 and 3-2. It's not really a fair reflection of what's gone on, and I think the two out of five gives, give, makes that score in that little bit higher, and the, and the public then understand and see where the scores have been landed. So reminder, Samra in the uh, red for Merseyside and Cheshire, the South Pole, Stephen Boyle for Scotland. Again, she has scored with a nice lead hand there. And the Scottish boy scored again, nice little hook on it, finished his combination on a hook. shot there from the Scot. Not quite got to grips in this round, Shiraz, just yet. He's just no clean shots landing there really at the moment. Well, good shot from Shiraz there, backhand on the inside. Just looking to see whether he's drawn a bit of blood from the nose of the Scot, perhaps. It looks as though he's... Uh, Marking up a bit on that nose, yeah, definitely has. Uh, doctor, uh, referee's going to wipe his nose. Well, we saw earlier on that that posed uh, a real problem for one of the boxers. It was uh, Dan Kiffin, wasn't it, early on, who got uh, knocked out of his rhythm, really, by a nosebleed almost. Pretty much it can, it can disrupt the boxers. Let's see how uh, Stephen Boyle deals with that uh, minor setback. And see whether it turns from a minor setback into a major problem for him. Certainly startled him into action a little bit there. He come out with some good, uh, good shots from Suraj. Yeah, just picked him off in the corner there, Samra. So be composed, be composed, look to throw that lead back hand. And I think, again, it's uh, not sure what the scoring will be here, but it's not about that Suraz can't win. He can maybe have a good last round and pick this win up. And the corner will get to work now on uh, Stephen Boyle's nosebleed. Um, and a, an even round, another 3-3 three, three round that round. It's 8-6 at the moment to very exactly the same as the last contest. So it's, uh, Suraz has a good last round now could be able to pick this up and uh, win the contest. Yeah. Chris Kane telling him to put the pressure on, get the shots through. Move, asking him to move his opponent onto the backhand. It's really good coaching. He certainly wants to test his uh, confidence and his mental state as much as his technique now. Just to see if that uh, nosebleed is playing on his mind. for his part, he's got to try and put it out of his mind and get back to the kind of boxing he showed in that first round, which established his lead. Yeah, they both started the round as he made to go on two, both scored good backhands to start the round and it looks like he's definitely up the pace, the pair of them now, so he's going to get a good quality last round from the boys. Oh, good shot, both, both scoring good shots yet again. Again, both scoring. We'll see what the judges see. I think defence has gone out the window in the first half a minute. They're both scoring great shots. Blood pouring from the nose of uh, Stephen Boyle again, but he's just carrying on regardless. <laughs> yep. The doctor's going to be called to have another look at it. Yeah, it's quite a deep red from that nose now. When he so you will probably give it a clean, see how he goes on. Samra in the neutral corner, he's got yeah. blood spattered all over his own vest, that's all from his opponent. Yeah, he's an excellent doctor, Dr Banks, Dr Mark Banks, a regular boxing doctor, both amateurs and the professional game, and he's, he'll make sure that that boy's okay. 
So both scoring again. Samra with uh, renewed vigour now, being urged forward by his corner, and he's put in a big last 30 seconds here. Remember, he trailed coming into this third round. Just because uh, Boyle is bloodied doesn't mean to say he's beaten. Absolutely not. Sam was scoring some good shots there. Changing stances, switching style, going southpaw. He's been quite effective with that lead jab as a southpaw. Not sure if he's got an injury to one of his hands, so it's a bit sore. He's... he's boxed almost exclusively southpaw this round. Almost boxed into a standstill now, these two. Yeah, excellent contest. There's not much in it. It's... It's a pick and bout again, how, how the judges separated them. Oh, it's a close one, I wouldn't like to call that, and, you know, to be fair, we have um, a really, really close contest. Boyle again raising his glove in the corner, you don't know how much of that's kidology at this stage just to try to convince the... Uh judges that he's in command. I think Shiraz might have just got the nod, I'm not sure. Did score some good clean shots towards the end. Still on the replay, scored a couple of good ones, so... Very, very little to choose between them, though. <laughs> really excellent contest. Evenly matched op opponents. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Short appreciation for both boxers, please. <laughs> With a judge's score of 14-12, the winner of 51 kilogram winner, Samra in the red corner. He did turn it round. 